Hey guys, Michael here. Thanks for joining me on another video. And uh, today we're going to have a look at the um, Timu orders that I've bought in the uh, in the previous video. And uh, I'm going to give you a bit of a review on which lures I'd recommend and not recommend getting. I was bitterly disappointed with some, and some of them I was completely blown away. So let's get into it. Okay, so these lures that I'm going to first show you, the, I was looking forward to them a lot. I thought these would be a great lure for trout fishing and uh, they just look like some of the knockoffs that I've seen. And these are, unfortunately, these hard bodies. These hard bodies, they, when I got them, as you saw on my video, I looked at them and I was so happy with the design and finish on them. But when I took them for a fish, they did not work. It just went dead gun barrel straight. They had no wobble to them. Even if you did some uh, some uh, rod action with them, they would they would they would bounce around. But I have to say a big no on these guys. Maybe I got a dodgy batch. And yes, there's only about eight dollars here worth of lures, but um, I just can't recommend them to you at all. So these are a big no. Okay, here comes another disappointment. Didn't cost me too much, but this was the little grasshopper. Again, same as the other lures, they, he just went. He had This one had a very little bit of a shimmy, not much. I would have thought that this would have floated. It doesn't float, it sinks. I just didn't have much faith in catching a fish in this. So again, this one here, not recommend it. You might get a better one, but no, not for, not for me. So, so far this video is not going very well, and unfortunately, it's still not gonna get much better. I thought you couldn't go wrong with soft plastics, but I was wrong. You can go wrong with soft plastics. So all of these soft plastics that I got, these look like nymphs. And also, I don't know what this one is meant to be, but again, that was a no. And the reason that they were a no, you wouldn't think you could go wrong with a soft plastic. All you need is your hook and a jig head, and then you slide it on the hook, and then you cast it out, you're done. The hardest part was actually getting it on the hook, because these are so slippery. I don't know what they've got on these, but there was such hard work trying to thread these onto a hook. I even went and washed one of them with soapy water, and that made it a lot easier to get on. But what that made was that the lure just became really sticky to it, just stuck to itself, it stuck to things. And so when you pulled it through the water, the little tentacles and little flippers and all that, they just didn't move. So then you had to put it back in the packet, get some more of the lube or whatever it is on it, cast it out, and it would work. I just don't have the time out on the boat or on the shore to wash them and then put them on and put them back in. And it just, I just thought, this is just ridiculous. Another YouTuber who I'll list down below, Mitch is Fishing, he's had the same problem. I asked him when his order came in, I said, have you had problems with your soft plastics? Like how slimy they are? And he said he did, and he got to the stage where he got it on and he couldn't even get it off. I can't believe that I'm saying that these soft plastics I wouldn't recommend buying because they're just soft plastics but if you can't get them on the hook can't fish with them so big no all right that's where all the disappointment ends because the last few are definitely ones that I would recommend and I would buy again if I lose them or would like to buy them for a friend so I'll start with another soft plastic and so these are these mud eyes or um, not mud eyes sorry um, dragonflies now these were still like the other soft plastics they were still a little bit slimy but that did tend to wear off quite quickly and because of the size of this it was a lot easier to thread on than the little guys but now these ones were slippery but they were still easier to get on as you can see I was able to to get it in there. Yes, these soft plastics work well. They, they don't do too much in the water, but highly recommend these. I would get these again. Haven't caught any fish on them, so if they even catch uh, fish, I would definitely, definitely, definitely buy them again. So, yes. We finally got a yes. One of my other videos that I did a Team U order, I purchased this little guy here, and he's just like a little crankbait. This guy worked well. He trolled well, he cast out well, slow roll, fast roll, ripping it through the water. I could not get this one to blow out. The only time I got it to blow out is when I got some weed on it. Very good lure. I might recommend maybe upgrading the hooks. They were a little bit too small. I did miss a fish the other day and I, I believe it was just because the hooks were too little. I would recommend that lure there. Just with the soft plastics, the jig heads, I'd recommend them as well. Hooked up on a fish the other day, got him in, got the hook out, done. That's what they're meant to do. Recommend the jig heads. At least these ones. And now with the inline spinners, I thought that these could have been a hit and, hit and miss because sometimes I found even buying locally, sometimes they just don't spin. But I've used a couple of these, a little one and a big one. They work. For $10 or 
$8 or something like that. You get the box, you get 10 lures, you've got a great range there. I don't think you can lose on this one. You could have this in your bag for yonder years. It'd be a long time until you go through all these. Highly recommend. And now the last one that I recommend is the one that I didn't think I would catch a fish on. I had a review from someone tell me that they don't swim very well, they don't swim very deep. And so I thought, well, oh well, doesn't matter. I only ordered a couple of them. I'll just give them a crack. And these were the swim bait. Now if you've seen my videos just previously, I caught a very nice brown trout and it was actually a sea run brown trout in the end. They just worked, they just work amazingly in the water. Very happy with them. I would highly recommend these. They swim well, they cast well. I would recommend casting them on a bait caster. They're a bit heavy, lob out on spinning gear. But if you've got heavier spinning gear, it would be fine. But I was using a one to three and a two to four kilo setup. And unfortunately, I got a twist round one of my eyelets and it snapped. Luckily, I had some more coming in the mail because I was that happy with them. Highly recommend these lures. Thanks again, guys, for tuning in for another video. I hope you enjoyed that small more review that I did on the allotment of gear that I bought from Timu. It feels like it was a bit of a 50-50 there. The lures that I got I would definitely recommend you to get if you if you're interested in that type of fishing. The ones that I didn't recommend, I would not, you've been warned. I find that they're, they're pro I'll probably never use them again. They'll become keychains or something. But anyway, thanks again for tuning in guys. Um, hit the like button or put a comment down below or if you're feeling adventurous, you could even hit that subscribe button. But thanks again, I'll see you next time on Give It A Crack Fishing. See you guys.